And today, the city will hold a job fair for squeegee workers to help get them off the streets just days before the mayor begins his long awaited squeegee collaborative plan. Miana Massey joining us live to break down the details of all that's to come, which many say is a long time coming, Miana. Yeah, well, Cena, like you said, this is all a part of Mayor Brandon Scott's squeegee collaborative plan, and it's been long awaited. And so he's actually providing youth in our city with opportunities and better pathways to educational and uh, job opportunities for them. So today, the mayor will gather with city council members and also community members to really just introduce youth ages 14 to 24 to a career zone. There, they'll feature opportunities for interviews, mental health education, and also, they'll provide opportunities for grooming services. Now, starting next week, no squeegee zones will be established in six areas. This is where squeegee activity has been most prevalent. This includes President Street, MLK Boulevard, Sinclair, and Moravia, Northern Parkway, and Wabash, also Light and Conway Streets. Now, in these zones, enforcement will include two strike warning systems. Now, be, that's before a citation is issued. Today's event is really just working to provide better opportunities. Opportunities. We have a plan. There's support for the plan across the board. I think it's a good idea. It's a lot better than them standing on the corner trying to um, wash the windows and trying to get money. And so the resource and hiring event will kick off today from 3 to 7. That's at the UA House at Fayette. Now, this entire plan will kick into effect. That's on Tuesday, and it will cost about $5 million. Now, a portion of that cost will help with, uh, will come from private donations. I'm Yana Massey reporting for WJZ.